Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of bones in the foot. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Bones in the foot can be divided into three parts. Tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. We will discuss each of these separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. Starting with the tarsals. The tarsus is made up of seven tarsal bones arranged in two rows, the proximal and the distal row. The bones in the proximal row include two bones, talus and calcaneus, arranged one above the other. Talus is placed above the calcaneus. In this image, you can see this bone placed on the top is talus and the one below is the calcaneus. We will also discuss these bones separately to see what all facets, surfaces and tubercles they have. In the distal row, there are four tarsal bones lying side by side from the medial to lateral side. These are the medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform and cuboid. Another bone, the navicular, is interposed between the talus and the three cuneiform bones. Let's have a look. This is the talus bone and below it is the calcaneus. These three bones lying side by side are the medial, intermediate and lateral cuneiforms. This bone lying laterally to the lateral cuneiform is the cuboid. And as we discussed that there is a bone interposed between talus and the three cuneiforms is this bone, the navicular. There are important features present in some of these bones that we should discuss, right? Coming to the features of talus. The talus is the second largest tarsal bone. It lies between the tibia above and the calcaneus below, gripped on the sides by the two malleoli. It has three parts, the head, neck and the body. The head of talus is directed forwards. Its anterior surface is convex. It is called the navicular articular surface and it articulates with the posterior surface of the navicular bone. The inferior surface bears the anterior facet for the calcaneus. Let's have a look. This is the lateral view of talus. And this part which you can see is the head of talus. This is the inferior view of talus and from this view we can see the articular surface that articulates with the navicular bone. This is the anterior calcaneal surface. Talking about the neck of talus. It is the constricted part of the bone between the head and the body and its inferior surface has the middle facet for calcaneus. Let's have a look. This part behind the head of talus is the neck. And to see the middle facet for calcaneus, we need to see the inferior view. So this facet to the side of the anterior calcaneal facet is the middle facet for the calcaneus. Last part of talus is the body of talus. The body forms the trochlea of talus. The superior surface of the trochlea bears a superior facet which articulates with the inferior articular surface of tibia to form the ankle joint. The medial surface of the trochlea has a medial malleolar facet that articulates with the medial malleolus of the tibia bone. The posterior surface forms the posterior process that is marked by an oblique groove for the tendon of flexor hallucis longus. The groove is bounded by medial and lateral tubercles. The inferior surface bears the posterior calcaneal articular facet. And there is a sulcus tally that lies between the middle and the posterior facet for calcaneus. It forms the tarsal sinus along with the sulcus calcanei. Too much to understand? Don't worry, let's have a look at these features. This part behind the neck is the body of talus. This is the superior articular surface. And as we discussed, there is a groove that is bounded by two tubercles. 
This is the medial tubercle. And this is the lateral tubercle. How do you think the bones of the leg articulate with the bones of the foot? To answer this, we need to have a look at the ankle joint. This is talus and these bones above it are the tibia and fibula respectively. This is the medial malleolus of tibia and it is attached with talus through the medial ligaments. This is the lateral malleolus of fibula and it is attached with the talus through the lateral ligament. This is the distal tibiofibular syndesmosis. The three calcaneal articular surfaces can be seen from the inferior view. This is the anterior, middle and posterior calcaneal surface. And there is the sulcus tally that lies between the middle and posterior calcaneal surface. With this we complete the features of talus bone. Rest of the bones will be covered in part 2. So that is it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.